My name is Christopher Di Piazza and I'm a paleo artist. I definitely started drawing dinosaurs when I was really, really young and I just never stopped. So paleo art is the profession of artistically recreating long extinct animals, how they would have looked like when they're alive. And since no one has ever seen one alive, that's open for a lot of interpretation. So it's very creative in many ways. You have a lot of wiggle room, but at the same time, there is a lot of things that we do know about these prehistoric animals. Every year we're learning new things about them and every year we have to slightly tweak how we depict them in paleo art. So I'm here today drawing my interpretation of Hadrosaurus fulci, New Jersey's official state dinosaur. Hadrosaurus was the first non-avian dinosaur recognized by science from North America. It was found in New Jersey which is where I was born and raised. So to me, Hadrosaurus is a really special dinosaur. I have done lots of paleo art projects. I have never done a project this physically large before. This is officially the biggest dinosaur I have ever drawn in my entire life. I am formally trained to work with watercolors, mostly. That being said, today I'm working with chalk. One thing that I think is kind of neat is the fact that with chalk you can make scribbles all over the whole board, but then I can just take my hand and blend it, which can cover a lot of space in a little bit of time, and the blending gives a really nice effect. I want to incorporate the newest discoveries that we found about this group of dinosaurs. I also wanted to do a color scheme that was believable and realistic, but also different from things that we've seen at this museum before for this dinosaur. So I definitely looked really hard at the other interpretations for the other artists like Ray Troll and Jason Poole because the whole point of this project is to show how different artists can do the same exact animal and still be completely correct for the time. So if someone wants to become a paleo artist or go into paleo art as a profession, it's really important not just to work on your art skills, but also learn a lot about science and learn about the animals that you're drawing. Not only learn about the prehistoric animals, but also learn a lot about animals that are alive today. A lot of the information that we apply to prehistoric life we draw from creatures that are alive today that were either related to them or maybe behaved like them.